This video is hilariously late as I've been traveling around a lot and I'm like two updates behind, maybe more. But I did want to cover Meta's improved recording capabilities because I believe this is a step in the right direction for content creators who are looking for higher quality footage. So if you do have to record a Quest native game, you're going to want to find and enable these settings that came out in update 44. To check, head over to your settings, then system, then software update. Head back into your settings over to experimental, then advanced camera settings and toggle it on. Going back into the system settings, you should now see a camera section with different settings you can play with. Unfortunately, since these features are still considered experimental, you'll need to come back here if you want to change something. Hopefully before long, they'll be baked right into the start recording menu. The new settings will allow you to select between a left and right eye. I'm left eye dominant, so that's usually what I tend to pick. If you aren't sure which eye you're dominant with, you can actually do the diamond test. Basically, you gaze at something that's on the other side of your room, hold up a diamond shape to center that object, close one eye, close the other. Whichever eye the object appears most centered for is your dominant eye. Anyway, the other settings include image stabilization, basically keeping the horizon more level so that your recording doesn't look as shaky. Do note, however, as you'll see in some of the demos ahead, that turning on stability will decrease the field of view a bit, and if you turn your head back and forth too quickly, you'll notice the black bars on the sides may move around a bit. We also have more aspect ratio options, square of course being the default, but also landscape for YouTubers and portrait for you TikTokers. You can customize frame rate options, which include 24 or 36 frames per second. And finally, you can also change the video compression quality between 5 megabits per second to 20 at max. Instead of doing a gradual comparison of the settings, frankly, I got impatient and just cranked them all to the max that they'll go. I wanted to do some test recordings in three different environments, the home environment, the fitness rhythm game Supernatural, and post-apocalyptic shooter Into the Radius. On the left will be the default recording settings, and the right will be with stabilization set to high, frame rate set to high, and video compression quality to 20 megabits per second. I'll also include the difference in file sizes below as well for clips that were similar in length. Feel free to experiment with these settings on your own as well. You might prefer, for example, medium stabilization so you don't have to sacrifice as much field of view. The new recording options do also drain your battery pretty significantly if you have them on the high settings. So make sure that you have a powered head strap ready if you want to do longer recordings. Perhaps like the Abaca powered strap. If you'll remember, I did a video earlier this year covering the Oculus Developer Hub Tools, which also has some recording functionalities to it. However, I found that upping the quality meant a significant decrease in performance, and changing the aspect ratio to horizontal actually gave you these weird black bars that you could see in headset. I'm pleased to say that with these new in-headset recording options, even with the settings cranked to max, with the games that I tested, I didn't have any performance issues, nor could I see those weird black bars in the headset. I can give a good endorsement to these new Quest recording tools. I highly recommend them for any VR content creator as the new standard for how you record Quest native. As always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.